Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow! I don't know if I'm advertising the movie The Lighthouse by talking about that particular scene and screaming Hark that much, or if I'm making people not want to ever see it. Welcome to stream number two of the day, uh, featuring Spelunky 2 and a game about a lighthouse. I don't know if we're going to go the full length tonight because I'm a little tired and I streamed a while. And there's some art that I'd like to, you know, check out. I'm sick of your goddamn facts. Alright, welcome to Spelunky 2, everybody. Space Cthulhu's. Hark. Vin, do you think you may stream some of Crash 4 sometime? Oh yeah, well I have a key for it. So Crash 4 is, is gonna happen. Just for one stream. Because I, I don't... I've heard it's even more difficult than the other um, Crash games. And it's on the PlayStation. I have a code for the PS4 version. And as you know, my controllers aren't fantastic lately. So I'll do like one stream of it. Um, check it out, call it a quick look, be done with it. But here we go again. Back to the, back to the caves. Instant restart. Imakuni was on one level for like 50 minutes. Oh, of Crash? Oof. Yeah, I'll check it out once. Yeah, there's some other stuff that I'd like to stream too. Like I said, Star Wars mod for um, Blade and Sorcery has been updated. There's always uh, spoopy games. Like, we're starting off tonight with a spoopy... Well, not, we're not starting off, but... We're doing a random spoopy game that Jeff recommended that he liked. And considering I've been parking quite a bit... I figured uh, it, would be, it would be good to check it out. Blade itself itself hasn't updated, so it still has bad performance, really. There's no mods or patches for that right now. What did Desert say? Oh, no, Desert's not even in chat right now. It's, it's just the, <laughs> the... The Desert P Lizard. We're gonna get some good runs tonight, chat. Every time I've played this, I've made it a little further. That may not happen this time, but maybe it will. I just have to learn all the hazards for each area, you know? And really just, um, really not do stuff like that. I hope in a future update they add more 1-1 music or caves music in general. 
Not because this is bad, but just for the sake of variety. You hear so much. I do like this music and I haven't gotten sick of it yet, though. Nice. How you doing, chat? How's every, uh, how's, how's everyone since I was here a couple hours ago? Vin, are you gonna try the new update for Minecraft? Considering we have about nine or so more months before that thing drops, yeah. I'm in no rush. It's all good. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a while. And by then, I might be down for some more Minecraft. Ross is playing on a server currently with a bunch of lads, like Alpha Alpha Lad and other lads, and, and they were like, you should join in. I might join in, and just chill out for a bit, but not necessarily, like, stick to it. Just, like, you know, make a cameo appearance. Grab that. There we go. Vin heard Red Vox for the first time. Some good stuff. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. I always have this feeling like, like, oh God, what did you listen to? But then, like, when people are like, oh, I listened to your most recent album, it's like, oh, you should hear the next one. Someone just said, found Vinny's alt. <laughs> but yeah, I'm never really fully happy with... You know... Like anything I do once it's released. But I always want to keep trying... It's fun. It's nice to not have it as a career, you know, and like where I don't have to like worry about if it's going to make money or not or like be a big thing. Like it's as a hobby, it's chill. It means I could just make what I want. Depending on where my um my interests may lie that particular that particular week or day or month or year. I mean, same for streaming, too, like, you know, I'm financially mostly, um, like, not struggling, which, thank you, chat. But I also, I was saving like crazy anyway, you know, I was trying to make sure that I could uh, have money for a rainy day, and boy, has it been rainy days lately for all of us. But truth is, like, even streaming, I don't really, luckily, thank thank you all for this by the way too but i don't really need to chase the trends i can kind of just stream what i want some trends are fun but um i'm lucky i can just kind of do my own thing feels good man oh man what a waste Where's the, um, where's the, where's the pet? Someone said, yeah, like Fortnite, right? I did play Fortnite. I, I liked Fortnite for a while. It was fun. is up there. Um, how much time do we have? 30 seconds. Alright, we gotta do this quick. Let's 
Is it gonna be worth it, chat, you think? Ten seconds. I got you, I'm gonna save you, buddy. Three seconds. Hey, the cape. Turkey would bounce to me. It's all right. Oh, that would have been sick, yeah, but no. N sadly, it was just ill. Oh wait, no, that means good too, I think. Where's the key? Let's see, where's the key? There's another altar, so I could maybe get the Kapala. Ort, 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 ort. Shopkeep. Screw you, Vern. Which is also one of my uh, names. Vin Ort means pussy in my country. Oh, like the kitty cats? That's cool. Just some harmless kitty cat fun. I see. I'm going for the kapa- Oh, I can't! No bombs! And I just took damage. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this layout is, is awful, too. Trying to get a tame Kapala. Oh! 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 D. <sighs> this run, I just got way worse. Kidding, right? No, I I am genuinely this stupid. I, I can't even use the key. Why did I pick up this and not the key? Okay, bad run. Everything went wrong. M my brain, most of all. So this is gonna sound kind of weird, but I had, like, um, ham and asparagus from, like, ShopRite. <laughs> like, the, the stuff that's, like, cold, and you heat it up. And, like, fresh made, you know, like, from there. Like, from their artisan chefs at ShopRite. And I gotta be honest, it was actually really good. 
Why was it good? I was like, I don't feel like making dinner tonight or ordering, so I'm gonna just get this for later. And it was... It was good. Someone said, well, they're not really called shop wrong. Huh. The plan was to rename shop right into shop wrong. Yeah, I never shop at ShopRite either. I don't, like, I usually do smaller delis or, like, stop and shop or something. So, this was an experiment, to say the least. But, yeah, it's okay. I got this hot cocoa, too, that I'm gonna try out, but I don't have any milk right now, so... I have, uh, Ghirardelli, which I know is good, and then this other one... It's like... It's a... Like a jar. It's like a glass jar of hot chocolate. Let me see what brand it is. Does anyone have any experience with Silly Cow Farms? <laughs> it's, um, chocolate marshmallow swirl hot chocolate. Yes, it's very good. It sounds fake as fuck. Yes, actually. Yeah. Well, some people seem to like it. Yeah, I'm still looking for a good brand of hot chocolate. I wanna, you know, I wanna have something that I can... enjoy. I'm sick of Swiss Miss. I don't like that shit very much. So that's my attempt. Giving it a shot, but I don't have any milk. And I'm not going to um I'm not going to use water. Learn how to make your own hot chocolate, it's super easy. No you. How about this? I won't make my own hot chocolate, but I will use milk. What do you do? Do you, do you just, like, make the, the chocolate hot? Is that what you do? Cocoa and sugar. Whisk, melted chocolate, and milk. Oh yeah, I could probably do it then. That sounds like... Like Babby stuff, you know? Um, just laziness means that I wouldn't mind just having, like, a brand that I like, that I can use when I need it. Vinny, I used- I work at ShopRite, and I just wanted to let you know that it fucking sucks. Cool, alright, well, ShopRite just lost a customer. And an employee. Yeah, possibly. Whoa. He said, I take it back, please buy our our products. <laughs> No. It's too late, my as asparagus... ...is coursing through my veins. Asparagus.
Again, it's one of those things that you can cook in the most boring way possible, like when I was younger. You know, I just remember having really bland broccoli and asparagus and I hated it. But if you do it right, and you use a little maybe like vinegar, um, salt, pepper, a little oil, lemon, grill it so that it's a little charred. It's good. It's really good. Butter too. Yeah, you can do butter. That makes sense. Yeah, just roast it. Roast it up, yeah? Fuck. God. Two HP lost for no reason. Damn it. for the kill. Yeah, if you don't have a shotgun or a boomerang, Takes a while. Let him open both sides. Um, usually I, I wouldn't mind, but let's let's go to the volcano. Oh, man. Gotta get the sacrifice. to use this damn key. I don't know where the pet is either. Oh, there's the damn key. All right. Boomst. Thanks for the diamond. Um, there's a secret unga shop selling a pet. I don't know where that unga shop is, chat. Under the altar? You think so? Mm. Gotta be real careful with bombs around the altar, by the way. I'm sure most of you know why. Oh, hey, man. No, yeah, 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 follow me. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Got 
30 seconds to find the secret shop. I'll give it a shot. Not worth it, probably. Alright, fuck it. A Kapala would have been great, but let's just keep moving. It could have been Japes, it might not have been under there. It looked like it would have been under there, I mean, geographically. Let's begin the challenge. So, when you have the clover, when does the ghost show up? At five minutes, okay. This music is really nice. Uh, it's a shame you only hear it, like, this one time. How do you dig up? Well, <laughs> you don't. You can dig straight ahead or one down, and that's it. Digging up is, is sadly... You just have to bomb or use ropes and... You know, hope that you can get up there. Do I have to break the pickaxe? I just didn't want to waste, waste too much time. Go for the last room? Oh, there is another one. Oh, well. Time is frozen in here? Well, that was a minute and a half. It, time is not frozen in there, I don't- I don't believe. You know what that was? Luck. I didn't realize how fucking dangerous those things could be. Spent a rope on that one. Desert, please. <laughs> that hot chocolate talk makes me want to go buy milk. So I can just have a hop, pop, pop. Oh, 
Homelander Milky Time Fun. Is it weird that when I think of the character Homelander from that show, at times, my voice for the character is Jerry from Rick and Morty? That's- that's incorrect, right? Oh wait, there's- well, there's a similar tone, kind of. Chris Parnell. <laughs> I would love to see him in the actual role. I'm telling you, there's going to be a Jamie Lannister redemption arc for that character. And then they're going to ruin it at the last second. None of it matters. None of it matters. Oh, okay, there. I do quite like that, um... That synthesizer. In the beginning. They're not gonna let me get the, the cat, are they? Alright. Just a shitty, non-cat seed. to whip the arrow chat. I mean, hey, I figured if I'm going to practice arrow whipping, may as well be then. Damn it. But yeah, reading about how different that show is to the, the comic, because I didn't read the comic, but I did read Preacher. So I know what Garth Ennis likes to do. Oh, fuck you. I've heard that the book is... is good, the comic is, is good, but very... very... gratuitously gory. And sometimes... like, it's just not fleshed out as much. Like some of the characters and just not given a whole lot of development. Very edge. I mean, some people like edge for the sake of edge. But um, one of the things I loved about Preacher was that there was some bizarre shit. There was some social commentary, blah, blah, blah. But there's also a lot of character development. Like, I really cared about those characters. And I was really interested in learning more about them. And you get that. So, yeah, it's shocking and horrific and fucked up and weird. And Arseface was there. But there's also... Um, there's also... Quite a bit more to it than that. Why did I do that? Oh, right, well... That hit the turkey and not me. And as I've said, like, the, the Preacher TV show was okay. It had some moments I really liked. And I followed it pretty closely. And I think the last season had some really great stuff in it. But it's a shame it didn't get a proper treatment. Vin, you're too quick to insta-restart, just take a hit. I'll try to start doing that more, yeah.
I thought the dog had more health remaining. So what what did I do with that shield? What happens when you hit the attack button while you have a shield? You, do you just throw it one time? Or do you like shield bash? You just throw it one time. Boomerang probably would have been a better option for what I had just done there. Someone said, so I really gotta see the first of this game. It just looks fucked up mean. I really want to restart, but the chat member told me. I don't know what your comment was, but um, these... This and the first game are both very, very mean games. I agree with that. Insta-death all over the place. It is fair, though. Correct. Yeah, chat member is saying the game is fair. Unforgiving, but fair. For me, the most forgiving part of this particular game is the turkeys that they, they throw at you early on. It's like you didn't even have the benefit of turkeys in the first one. moles or lizards either. Yeah, that's true. I feel like the 1-1 one, one scenario has gotten a little bit more annoying. The, the caves in general. But yeah, no, I, I do think the game is mostly fair. Like, there are times where something stupid and out of your control happens. Um, or the physics just fuck with you, but it's all part of a rule set. The stun time is a little ridiculous. I, I think I agree with that. The first was fair. This one just piles on the stun lock for zero benefit. So, what would you say, like, how much longer is the stun in this game than Spelunky 1? I don't, I genuinely don't remember. It's literally the same. So wait, why are people saying that it's it's more? There is there are more things that stun you is what Chad is, is saying now. That was satisfying.
Yo, can that kill you? From the other side of the door? Oh fuck, it can! It's okay, Marty! Where we're going, we don't need money, Marty! Really, mole? Really, mole? I need my revenge. Laughing snakes have arrived. I guess Germa has rats and I have snakes. Works for me. Yeah, and meat, meat worms and snakes, it all kind of works. It all, it all kind of is in the same family. All right, take two damage because I, I ran too fast into a corner. That's the Spelunky way, everybody. Wasn't this nice? This is a power pack. The question is, do I want this or do I want a cape? I'll keep the power pack. Chat is saying cape. It's nice that there's also less recoil. And I get fire whip, which means cooked turkeys. Insta-cooked. Super fast.
don't take the power pack to the volcano. That is very true. Big goo bum. <sighs> Eternal damnation for that shopkeep. Bombs exploded, but what can you do? Where where was where's the pet? Oh, the pet's over here. Oh no, oh no. I don't have enough bombs to save the pug. Should have let him roll that way too, but you know. Shopkeep. It's a little tough. You know, it's a little tough minus bombs to kill the shopkeep. That's why we're not going to. So it's up here. a bad spot in general for that. It means that it's going to be a little bit harder to bring corpses up here. And living things especially. So probably not going to sacrifice. Do it again to get them to stop spawning. What's that? Do what? Shopkeepers can forgive you? Wait, how many times do I have to not kill them before they forgive me? Two levels without killing them? Let's see what we can do, chat. Once again, saving this pug is going to be a very difficult prospect, um, considering my lack of bomb. That, that, yeah, that is a very cursed spot for that dog. See, if only the fucking sacrificial altar was... by the, uh, or down here. Chat, I don't think... I, j I just don't think... Oh! 
Oh. open <laughs> you fucking idiot yeah that that kapala is not gonna be we're not gonna get that I thought I was forgiven, chat. Why is there a shopkeeper here? You didn't do two yet. You only did one. I did too. Still mad. These motherfuckers are real mad still. I would love to get that Kapala there or use the, the altar, but I, I need to find the the the, the black market. It doesn't apply if you've killed them. Well, yeah, I've killed them. Also, chat, if you see the black market anywhere, please let me know. Oh, there's the uh, alien gun. There's a jetpack. The alien gun with the power pack. What the fuck is that? Death. Yeah, you're right. It teleports you back to 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a cool skill. Why, why, when they talk, do they spit? I can't... I can't use this bomb. Clear the way and then maybe, maybe save the pug if I have time, and I probably won't have time. Just hoping the shopkeep takes care of the problem.
Gotta go. Oh. And the ghost was on the way, too. I should have just fucking flew past that... That dude. The shopkeep only forgives you for stealing. That, yeah, that's what I thought. That's how it was in Spelunky 1, but, hey, figured it was worth the shot. Chat said it was a thing that could happen, so why not, right? So I tried to put it on. I think I pressed the wrong button. You can change the instant restart to no confirmation to make it faster. Oh no. <laughs> no, this is fine. That's not fine though. That was that was opposite fine. It was worth it because now there's the freeze ray. We now have to deal with angry shopkeepers for the rest of the run, but. Oh, cool skeleton man! thinking about keeping the freeze ray. It just doesn't have range. This, the shotgun has range. I'll hold on to it for a little bit, and then I'll, I'll probably replace it with another shotgun later, because I'll need the shotgun to kill the shopkeeps from a distance. From a distance! Double. don't see a use for that thing. I mean, for climbing purposes. Maybe. Really? This is where we're putting the dog? <sighs> Never mind.
Yeah, that would have been a use for the web gun. <laughs> stick, stick it to the ceiling and then throw a bomb into it. So chat, you remember that mall? I've talked about the big expensive one. That defunct land, I think. Was it Defunct Land or Bright Sun Films did a special on the American Dream Mall? That crazy multi-billion dollar waste with the ski resort that was originally Xanadu? It's open. They opened it. Yeah. Go get coughed on. I intend to. Maybe. No, I don't I don't think I'm gonna go anytime soon, but if I do, I'll let you know. I'll just, you know, I'll take precautions and wear a mask and all that, but um it seems huge. Which seems like people would be spread out, spaced out. Last I heard, it was very empty, Vinny. Not worth the trip. Go to Volcano since you have the thing. Yeah, I mean, I could do Volcano. Stop using them on turkeys. That's health, though. Why do you want me to, like, not have health? Torch? Yeah, but you can't always find one of those. I don't think the shotgun cooks the turkey meat. Ride a turkey to the second turkey and bomb them with one bomb. Now that is a genuinely good idea that I've only done a couple times because I... Uh, I, I will... I will do that. Blow them up after they've died. Oh, because they absorb damage for you. Yeah, that's right. Boop. So those are two good pieces of advice. I think it just dropped it in lava. Whoa, my friend! 
And my rope burns. So there, there's another rope gone. Oh, man. Someone said, stop angering the shopkeeps. Maybe. But true story, every s successful Spelunky run I've ever done, in the first game at least, involved angering a shopkeep. Why'd you take me down here? The jetpack would have been great. But I don't know how to, like, kill shopkeepers properly. Without a bomb. I just get killed otherwise. Should have kept the shopkeeper alive. I mean, yeah, but I couldn't afford the jetpack, which I then destroyed, and... You're right. No, mistakes were made. What are you doing? What are you doing to my cat? Why are you making my cat pog? percentages are for really like sick items more bombs are always good but you know just like sick items got a jetpack in a crate once once the item stacks stand in the same spot shopkeeper up a rappel rope. This will knock him out and drop a shotgun. Quickly grab the gun and run. Stuff. Depending on what you want to do. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I'll try that. That trick works. I believe it. I've seen people do it. I'm just never confident in my ability to do it.
I heard a squishy noise. All is well. Dig my way through. No choice. Well, using bombs is one way to dig. Finn, did you know that there's a Dark Crystal RTS game? You mean like Fire Emblem? Yeah, it's on the Switch. It's not really an RTS though, is it? It's a tactics game. Um, I've read when it came when it came out, I I was interested at least a little bit, and uh, it seems like it was mediocre at best. But, again, I haven't played it, so I don't really know for sure. Gee whiz, it's dark. Where's the kit? Where's the cat? I can't see the damn cat. Ah. Uh. Oh, thank God. All right, cat's down here. You, hired help. Go kill the shopkeep. Do it. Grab a shotgun and kill him! You, you killed the cat! Unlocked forever. I, I, I am making no progress tonight. None. Yeah, when things are like when the lights are out, it's bad. It's real bad. Turkey, please. Is 
This will serve some extra purposes, because then I can get the, the thing. So we get a, a nice uh, turkey dinner and some bombs. And I waste a rope and grab a cat. Dog, rather. HP. That key, huh? Like, I knew it was going to happen. That became a cursed run very quickly. There was a cursed key location, and then I took four damage in a row, and my spirits were dampened. Okay. Oh, the spider got me. The spider bite. I left it alive. Very good revenge. Saw that gun. There's a, there's a secret market. I spend one rope looking for this thing. Nope. Can't get to it from here. Decimated. Burn. Burn Boogaboo. Isn't that the name of the Chrono Trigger? Unga Song?
again, I, I know I'm... Oh, double. Double ice. Um, I know that, that I'm obviously making this a little bit harder for myself in many ways by killing the shopkeeps. some stuff too Did that turkey just get fucking deleted? This is like the same thing from before. Oh, oh thank God. Okay, okay. No, 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 this is fine. Oh, hey. Hey, Unga. Check this out. No, 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 no. Leave the shotgun. Check this out. How many ropes am I gonna- What the fuck? Did I just- I wasted so many ropes. Alright, come on. Still need more sacrifices. <sighs> Kill the vampire hunter? That doesn't seem like a good idea. blood. I need to sacrifice him. Oh, I can't get back up there. Whoops. Well, that was, uh, for not, for not. He helps you later. You fucked up. Yeah, but someone in chat told me to do it. Someone in chat. That's their name in chat that said that. Remember Vlad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fight Vlad. What have I done?
Let's shoot this black knot. Have you guys ever heard the band Mr. Bungle? So here's the crazy thing. Even if I didn't kill Vlad, that would have been the outcome because I wasted 4,000 ropes just before that. fast. This is like supersonic speed. This is how mistakes are made. Why would they put a box up there? What, what are they trying to do to me? Good, good ropes. Stinky ropes of asparagus. I was looking for the cat. It was over here. I took that damage for no reason. Mm. 
Oh, 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 yeah! Ride balls! I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm just pre I'm just playing around. Well, that was fun. I got a shotgun out of it, and I think now I can get the, um, the thing, maybe. Nope. No thing here. I mean, there's nothing no left to lose, really, so why not, you know? Oh, cool, a helper. Shoot Yang. Shoot him. Good. Nice job, shopkeep. You're, you're a good man. Nice man. See what Yang has. Rope. that turkey. I need that health. How much time do we have? We have enough time to do this. And enough bombs, too. But, you know, gotta be quick. Yes! Oh, 
Okay. Maybe, maybe this is a good run. I don't know. Maybe it's a good run. Oh, wait. Why did that happen? I didn't even see it happen, chat. Oh, was an arrow bounce? This is God Gamer mode tonight, chat. Please go back to one of your funny noises like Bruce Willis. I like how Bruce Willis, as a human being, is now just a funny noise relegated by a chat member. I wonder if it's just because of, like, the times that action movies aren't really what they used to be, they're different. Like, the action star is not really as bankable as it used to be. Or I wonder if it's because Bruce Willis just takes every role that's offered to him. That he's, like, not getting good movies. Or maybe he is, I don't know. I, I... getting really old. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, Stallone had to write his own action movies. But now, yeah, you can just throw, like, a jabroni in a suit and, and like, give them CG muscles, and so you don't really need the same- <gasps> Yes, eat my big fat dick while you poopin' So, I'm not really entirely sure if it's necessary to have that draw anymore when the draw is Iron Man and not necessarily Robert Downey Jr. Can you please purr again like you did earlier? No, you fucking sicko. That was a pigeon, not a purr. Well, now that I know you like it, I'm not gonna do it anymore. It's only good for me if you don't like it. That is, the pigeon noise. And only that one. Everyone saying, yes, we love it. Do more of it. It's time to do some Hyper Leno. Dave, uh, it's me, Jay. Uh, I just want to let you know that I am the Alpha and, and the Omega. Okay? Bye!
that Unga had, like, a house full of gold. That was the wealthiest Unga. But, you know, imagine how long the Unga worked to get all that money. I guess Yang was aware of my uh, transgression against turkeys. Why not get the compass? Oh yeah, I should have got the compass. That would have been nice. I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. done. Lord Vader. Try to bring that mole up if possible. What happens if you sacrifice the ghost jar? Is there a better way to do that? Go in and push the block out. Wow. Wow, wow, Finn. Wow, good, good job, Finn.
do I get rid of this thing again? Could have grabbed his shotgun instead. God damn, that jetpack was just very nice. It looked real good. Hey there, Spelunkleth. Have you seen my jetpack? Wow, that damaged me. I'm sorry, Dink. I broke your jetpack. That guy, I can't do this too far. Why did I not see this solution earlier? Golden monkey struck out on an adventure, but a sorceress used magic to transform him into an idol. This level? No, oh, too late. It's a good thing Yang doesn't remember his previous life. Yeah. Wow. Psychotic shopkeeper. Are axolotls like all the rage now? Considering Minecraft is getting one, this game has one. Did, did everyone just decide all at once to make axolotls a thing? Before that? now a keyless run, which some people in chat would probably rather see me do keyless runs. Oin! The pie hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Oh my god, buzzing. We haven't seen this yet.
Terraria. An important part of the cave's ecosystem, however, it's much larger and more aggressive than the common honeybee. I want the, the health stuff. There's some sticky health chat somewhere. There's a bee hole. Oh, there's a door there. Okay, hang on a minute. No, unfortunately, I don't have any more bombs or any more rope, so I'm gonna have to bomb the dog down. <laughs> Eleven HP. matriarch of the hive. On her abdomen, one might find a blob of delicious royal jelly. I'm sorry, Dink! I broke grill! <gasps> Do you know how lucky I am right now, chat? Do you know how lucky? Do you know how unlucky I am now, chat? Do you know how unlucky this is? See shit. Oh, I don't like that sound. Just anything to get out of there, chat. power go there are three shopkeeps here why are there three shopkeeps <laughs> hey 
<laughs> okay. Why are there now zero shopkeeps here, chat? Turkey can walk on spikes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, the black market is here. Um, So turkeys uh, can't land on those on on them. I figured at the very least the turkey would take the hit. I, I was not thinking. We'll do one more. I was just really not thinking. Okay. For real, this is it, and I'm gonna stick to this one. You'll see. Even if I take like some bullshit damage on World One, on uh, One One, I'm sticking to it. Chat will be. You'll 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 see. I'm correct. Then I'm I'm good. But I will do this. Here we go. The makings of a of perfectly fine run. One where I don't get eaten by a plant. Plants that bleed. Plants that bleed. Waste of a rope. Actually, that's not true. Here we go. <clears throat> let me let me grab let me grab a thing. Some sip of drink. I am fully alert.
I need that blood. Thank you. Thank you for the blood. Welcome to the blood farm. This is where... This is where we make dreams come true. For good runs. Maybe. It's over there, chat. It's over there. It's over there, chat. I'll just try to complete the goddamn game minus key. If possible. Oof. man. Can't afford the paste, but man, what a fucking purchase that was. Bomb down to Vlad, can you? and get the paste first. I... I just don't know if that's gonna happen, mate. Now I can't get back up. Let's leave. Let's leave. directly down from here.
Almost there. Chat, we are gonna get extra time for Vlad, right? Just the clover, that's fine. Should I bring the goat with me? Can't, never mind. So I guess I just have to kill Vlad then. That's it, take the crown, right? It's, it's all about the crown here. I've only done this once. And if I had the sticky stuff right now, chat, we'd be in good shape. get what is Vlad doing how much time we got? we got one minute one full minute there's no easy way to kill this dude right Sticky bombs would be good, yes. I don't have those. Bows are a one-shot. You can free someone in level one that insta-kills him. So, I, I just don't know what the crown does. Let's you take the sword. All oh, right, I remember that. The Excalibur. You lucky dog. Maybe not that lucky. Needed that blood. Gonna take a break. I'll be back with Spooky Game. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. That was the one run. I mean, I, 
I said it was only going to be one run, and thus it was one run. Uh, whoa, I haven't listened to Foo Fighters in a while, nor have I played their music in a while, but here's a song I really like. I think this is one of their most underrated singles and albums. <laughs> <laughs> 